a quick video to explain the things you need to do if you want to reproduce these in your own lab, all these attacks. Um, uh, and this is uh, the explanation, the behind the scenes explanation to the video on the full attack on Windows 10. Well, to attack the target machine, you need to have the firewall set off. And again, there are specific attacks on how you can actually disable the firewall, but it will make the video much longer, so we are not going to show that. Uh, also, Windows Defender needs to be disabled on both machines. And you, the easiest way of having it disabled, and again, you can disable the, the, the Windows Defender. Uh, you did not have to do this in, in Win 7, but Win, uh, Windows Defender in Win 10 is more capable of detecting the meterpreter type of things. And the best way of doing it, so it, because if you disable it manually, when you reboot the machine, it gets uh, activated again, is with a group edit policy, uh, group edit editor, and, and, and change the policy to put uh, Windows Defender uh, disabled, right? So you go into uh, this path on the group uh, editor, and this one actually, this is uh, an option for disable. You go into there and click set to enable it and that gets uh, disabled and the other final thing is that you need to enable remote psxec between the, the two machines so in both system you need to run these two commands and this is something that we don't do it just for hackers many administrators in order to administrate the machines more uh, with more uh, with ease of, of doing they enable remote power uh, remote ps uh, power, remote powershell uh, into those, uh, so it's remote PowerShell, into those machines. So this is something that administrators constantly do and there is a risk on doing so. You need to set that up to get the attack going. Uh, we're gonna be doing maybe some more attacks later and, and we're not gonna be using the credentials. We're gonna be using the actual uh, hash for past the hash attacks. And if you wanna dump the hash, all you need to do is from Metapreter, when you have escalated privileges, as we have done, run this particular uh, command. In fact, we can even take that command, and I should still have this from the previous session. Uh, this is the the session with the privileges. If we paste that into the clipboard, we should get uh, the hashes, and, and the hash is almost as good as a clear text password, because between this is the hash version of the password that we use. And a final note is that this is the actual command that we use to do the encode base64 of the second command that we did in PowerShell to move laterally into this machine. And you, if you want to move to more than one machine, you can put here comma and put the second machine and and, and get session into multiple machines at once.